mass spectrometry, analyzing the M plus 2 peak. Say you get a spectrum like this, chlorobenzene. We have our molecular ion peak at 112, but we also ha and we have an M plus 1 peak at 113, but we also have a pretty abundant peak at 114. So we've got an M plus, an M plus 1, and an M plus 2 peak. So the chemical formula of chlorobenzene is C6H5Cl, and we'd expect our M plus peak to be 6 times 12 for the carbon, plus 5 times 1 for the hydrogen, plus 35. which is 112, just as expected. And the M plus 1 peak is from carbon-13. What causes that M plus 2 peak? Well, the reason that chlorine has the M plus 2 peak is that chlorine has two abundant isotopes. 76% of all chlorine is chlorine-35, and 24% of all chlorine is chlorine-37. That means that 76% of these chlorobenzene molecules will be with chlorine-35, but 24% of them will have a chlorine-37 instead. This peak represents the molecules that have the chlorine-35 isotope. This peak represents the smaller number of molecules that have the chlorine-37 isotope. Since 76 over 24 approximately equals 3, this represents a 3 to 1 ratio of the molecular ion peak to the M plus 2 peak. And that is characteristic of compounds with chlorine. If you take the height of the molecular ion peak and divide it by the height of the M plus 2 peak and you get 3, the compound contains chlorine. Right, so the ratio of the molecular ion peak to the um, M plus 2 peak equals 3. That tells you the compound contains chlorine. Bromine has two isotopes that are nearly equally abundant. 51% of bromine is bromine 79, and 49% of bromine is bromine 81. Therefore, we'd expect the molecular ion peak of bromine, or of bromobenzene rather, to be 6 times 12 from the, for the carbon, plus 5 for the hydrogen, plus 79. So that's our molecular ion peak. And if we calculate the molar mass with a bromine 81 instead of a bromine 79, we get 158, and that is our M plus 2 peak and their heights should be nearly equal, and indeed that's what we see. Here we've got 156 and 158. Notice also that each one of these has an M plus 1 peak. So there's the M plus 1 here at 157, that's the M plus 1 for carbon-13 with bromine-79, and then you have 158 for the um, bromine 81 and 159 for carbon 13 in the bromine 81. So when the ratio of intensities of the M plus 2 peak and the M plus 1 peak is 1 to 1, that means the compound contains bromine. Here's an exercise for you to try. We got a molecular ion peak at 80 and an M plus peak, or an M plus 1 peak rather, with an intensity of 8.8. .8. And then the M plus 2 peak 
has an intensity of 26. How many carbons are there? And what heteroatom does the molecule contain? Go ahead and pause your video and work it out now. So first let's figure out the number of carbons. And that's going to equal the m plus 1 over 0.011 times the molecular ion peak. So that's 8.8 .8 over 0.011 times 80. That gives us 10 carbons. And then our m plus over our m plus 2 equals 80 divided by 26. Which equals 3.07. That means that there's a chlorine. And if it had equaled 1, there would be a bromine. 